This program provides education, not advice. See the truthayf.com disclosure page for details. This is where technology, innovation, and personal finance come together. This is the truth about your future with Rick Edelman. Brought to you by Global X ETFs, dedicated to providing investors with unexplored intelligent solutions. It's Thursday, April 27th. We've talked recently about Alzheimer's disease, and what I didn't give you then were some of the statistics, in case you're not familiar. I did mention that the odds of getting Alzheimer's by age 90 is one in two. That's rather scary, but it's even scarier than that. The odds at age 60 are one in 10. By age 80, it's one in three. From the time you develop symptoms of Alzheimer's until death is an average of 12 years. This makes Alzheimer's one of the most expensive diseases to treat because patients require typically 24-7 care because Alzheimer's patients are often physically fine, which means you can walk around the house, turn on a stove, drive a car, pick up a firearm. It makes Alzheimer's patients dangerous to themselves and others and hence the need for 24-7 care. That's expensive to provide, an average of $120,000 a year, ten grand a month, which is not covered by Medicare or health insurance. And as a result, most care providers are family members. Your spouse or your child, typically a daughter, is going to be the one providing that care, and this is why the caregivers themselves suffer massively from a financial perspective. They often have to cut back or entirely give up their careers, spend their own money on providing care, and you can just imagine the emotional and physical toll as well as the financial one. So, it's a problem, especially when you consider there's no diagnostic tool to help you determine whether you're likely to develop Alzheimer's. Even even if you do develop it, there's no treatment, there's no cure, there's no vaccine. It's 100% fatal. So, how would you like to reduce your risk of getting Alzheimer's disease? The number one thing you can do? Lose weight. New research says obesity causes changes in the brain that are similar to Alzheimer's, especially for people in middle age. Being overweight in your midlife years can cause a whole bunch of health issues decades later. Scientists at McGill University in Montreal analyzed brain scans of 1,300 people. It's the first research that directly compares the patterns of brain shrinkage in obese people and in Alzheimer's patients. And guess what? Obese people have the same kind of thinning of the brain that Alzheimer's patients have. But there's good news. The researchers say that people who are overweight, and we're talking about a BMI, a body mass index, of 25 to 26, if that's you, you might be able to slow your cognitive decline if you can get closer to a healthy weight. And it's not just Alzheimer's disease that you'll improve by lowering your weight. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, osteoarthritis, cancer. You improve your risks on all of that. All of these are connected to obesity. And if you have a higher BMI, you're two and a half times more likely to become frail. Being frail puts you at higher risk of falling. That means higher risk of injury which means hospitalization and complications as a result of being in the hospital. So, you're overweight. That means you're frail. That means you trip. And when you do, you break your leg. You end up in the hospital. While you're there, you get sepsis and you die. All because you're eating too much fast food. Obesity is considered the top modifiable dementia risk in the United States. And scientists also think that if you already have Alzheimer's or symptoms of dementia, losing weight might actually reverse the damage. One important point, the research did not examine what people are actually eating. It just focused on the fact that they're eating a lot. The assumption is that eating a healthier diet will also improve the situation. So now you know what to do. Don't wait for the scientists to come up with a cure. You can provide your own improve your weight. 
If you're a financial advisor, 2 p.m. today Eastern, join me for a webinar that I'm hosting in conjunction with Financial Advisor Magazine. The topic is preparing your practice for success in the coming decade. You can't manage your practice over the next 10 years the way you have over the past 10 or 20 years. I'm going to show you what's changed in the field of wealth management, and you're not going to want to miss this. Today, 2 p.m. for free for financial advisors. The registration link is in the show notes. And tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern, I'm doing a 90-minute virtual roundtable hosted by Bitwise. The topic, we're going to be talking about crypto. This is for RIAs only, not the general public. If you're a financial advisor, you're invited to attend. You'll find the registration link in the show notes today as well. See you tomorrow. The Truth About Your Future is sponsored by Global X ETFs. Amid inflation, rising rates, and a host of other economic challenges, volatility has been one of the few constants lately. But as listeners of this show know better than anyone, it's important to look past the short-term headlines and focus on the bigger picture. Despite the ups and downs of the news cycle, exponential technologies continue to advance, shaping a world of new possibilities in engineering, transportation, healthcare, and renewable energy. At Global X ETFs, we offer a diversified product lineup, including risk management solutions to navigate the storm, along with thematic strategies targeting the growth opportunities of tomorrow. Whatever your goals, visit GlobalXETFs.com to explore how our research and insights may help you achieve your goals. The information you need to plan for the tomorrow you want. This is the truth about your future with Rick Edelman.